Nothing to it. Just remember you're on patrol, not a playground. Look, cops just want to have fun, too. Race it to the pavilion. Be careful. The heavy bus may be your own. Mind if I bum a smoke? Sorry, I don't have any. But uh, you can have a free sandwich. Thanks. You look hungry. Not for that. You know, I think maybe I do know what you need. Who's this? What's it to you? Angela, this is Jamie. We met at the pavilion. Laura, you know you're not supposed to bring people back here like this. You the warden? No, I am. It's OK, isn't it, Solomon? I knew you could help her. Of course it is. Now, um, why don't you go cool off Laura while I get to know our new friend here? Maybe you'll go for a swim later when you're not feeling so vulnerable. Get real. I ain't scared of you. That's exactly what you're afraid of, getting real. Is this how you welcome all your guests? No, but not all my guests come here pretending to be something they're not. Like you, pretending to be Hugh Hefner. You know that's not what I'm talking about, Jamie. Just like you and I both know the real reason you're here. But I'm afraid that once you get what it is you're looking for, you'll realize it wasn't really what you needed. Look, the only reason why I came here is because Laura said I can get high. Well, lucky for us both, your innate honesty makes you a very bad liar. Looks like Laura's the liar here, not me. Don't you see? Your frustration has become so unmanageable, it renders this pathetic mask you wear nearly transparent. And the woman beneath it, defenseless. I am not who you think I am. Then we have something in common. Like what? You're not who you'd like to think you are either. Come, sit with me, Jamie. I'll even allow you to think you're fooling me a little longer. If it helps you stop fooling yourself. You're too beautiful a person to be in so much pain. Group's running a two-story house around the corner. Jamie got in. Yeah, well, hopefully not in over her head. <laughs> um, I don't understand. A uh, purse with a serial number? Forgive him, ladies. He's never shopped at Gucci before. Um, how much cash was she carrying? $10,000. Dollars or yen? Dollars. Why was she carrying that much? Shopping spree. In Japan, everything costs two, three times more. Yeah, but flights and hotels are expensive. Why come over here? Tokyo has no big movie stars or David Hasselhoff. Well, I guess that's all for now. Thanks. Hey, but uh, don't you worry. <laughs> we'll be on top of this guy. We're going to oh catch him. <laughs> Do you mind telling me why you keep laughing at me? She says, you look handsome, like a Baywatch beach boy. <laughs> uh, domo, arigato? <laughs> I was doing drugs, in and out of hospitals. I was dealing meth in Bakersfield. Mm -hmm. Jamie, for different reasons, everyone here was once headed down a path of pain and despair. Do you even know why you took that first wrong turn? Look, I told you, I don't need group therapy. I need to get high. Before someone saved me, made me realize that I was worth saving, I was an alcoholic myself, committing slow motion suicide. See, my fear and confusion made me seek to block out the pain instead of finding the source. You know all about that, don't you? I'm not in pain. 
I'm bored. Bored with the person you've become? The one others expect you to be, while the real you cries out to be heard? Isn't that really why you came here, Jenny? In the end, only love can save the lives and souls around us. By accepting a message of love rather than hate and spreading it to the world, we've all been healed. You will be too, I promise. How? By making love with the lost souls out there and sharing God's healing power. Making love? With strangers? There are no strangers out there. We are all brothers and sisters. So you're telling me that by having sex with my brothers and sisters, then I'll find happiness? You think there's something wrong with that? Well, I'm not a whore. Isn't it interesting how you made the leap from sharing love to viewing yourself as a whore? I didn't say. Jamie, kissing in public was once considered deplorable. Just like divorce, premarital sex, being gay. In this culture of despair and denial, often what should be beautiful gets twisted into something negative, something shameful. Tell her, Angela. Hey, the money I bring in by sharing love can feed starving people. I'm doing something I'm proud of. Amen. Amen. So, Jamie, are you with us? I'm really glad we became friends. I love you so much. I know you love me too, even though you're free to show it. I just don't think that people can love someone that quick, that's all. Once you realize Solomon's love for you is real, it'll change. Like we all did. I never really felt loved until I met him. What about your parents? They let the doctors keep me a prisoner and fill me so full of poison I couldn't even think straight, so I ran away. Solomon found me. He got me clean. He saved my life. So you went with him of your own free will? Of course. He always gives us the choice. Always? Even with all the other girls? Solomon believes you can't be happy unless you have control of your own destiny. So, if you decided not to follow him... He'd be sad, I guess. Like the time with Callie. He knew the best thing for her was to be with us. Did you hear that? No. So what about this girl, Callie? It's the dolphin. Sometimes I hear them singing to each other. When the rapture comes, they'll inherit the earth and we'll all be taken up into the skies. Come on. Let's go talk to them. I'm never gonna get my chance with Kiko. 